Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days and I'm an Old Guy Gaming, and this is the Insane Series, where we play this game on Insane Difficulty Zombies. are all set to Nightmare Speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. It is Horde Night 42, um, and so we're going to continue using our little uh, base here. It is my intention to use this base tonight, and also probably for, um, for Horde 49. And then after that, we will... Uh, hopefully have um, our more permanent horde base built and um, you know we'll use that for the rest of this series um, but we'll see how things go tonight I mean if we have a if we have a hard time tonight which I'm not expecting uh, but if we do you know then we might have to consider uh, something different for 49 but I think this will probably hold up for 49 as you can see I've upgraded you know this por portion to steel and um, you know could even upgrade more of that uh, to steal over there too so we're going to start off the night uh, with our m60 until they break a hatch or two and then we're going to switch to uh, explosives one thing i forgot to do is i forgot to get my atom junkies which i left in the 4x4 so it's too late for that now so we will be doing this without atom junkies all right guys well i hope you enjoy the slaughter
All right, I think we killed the horde. It is a little after one o'clock in the morning, and uh, they got all the way uh, to the last um, hatch. I, I could have kept the the second to the last one repaired too, uh, but I wasn't really worried about it to be honest with you. Um, and the closer they get, you know, the more damage my shotgun and stuff's gonna do. Uh, anyway, I mean, we were <laughs> kind of 20, 30,000 XP um, points there per, uh, uh, almost per, like, um, freaking um, magazine, right? And um, we leveled, how many times did we leveled tonight? Uh, we leveled two, and we're about f almost, you know, three-fourths of the way to the next level, too. So, yeah, pretty good Horde Knight. Um, the buzzards were a pain in the ass, but as you can see, they don't really do any significant damage to the bars here. Um, just barely scratch them. So, um, that went pretty well. So, let's go ahead and get our lucky looters on. And we'll, you know what, I can just jump down there because I've got impact bracers on. And let's go see what kind of loot we have. I think uh, we can do this on 49 too. I think we'll be fine uh, with that. I'm going to take an eye candy as well as wear our lucky looters. Let's keep those with us though. And we're going to put, uh, let's make sure everything is loaded. We never used our pistol. And we went through almost two full durabilities on the M60. So we'll just keep our usual inventory. I'm going to use grenades from now on, uh, on Horde Night. We'll, we'll use these pipe bombs up, you know, when we're out questing and stuff like that. But, um... I'm going to use the grenades on Horde Knight now. Let's get... Well, no, actually, we don't want to do that. We need room for looting. Okay, let's go see what we got. Pop this eye candy. Okay, that's it for the loot keys. We got a couple of uh, nice magazines that we read there. And we found a, an orange marksman rifle. Um, we could take that and put one of our 8x scopes on it. Uh, that would give us 66 plus whatever the scope would add damage compared to our tactical, which ha only has 72 with the mods on it. So it would give us, you know, really more of a true sniper rifle. Um, this is fine for, like, mid-range sniping, but, you know, it also gives us the advantage of uh, having a tactical assault rifle, too. But, I don't know, for sniping, I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that. We might we might actually switch over to that. Uh, we've got a, a treasure map, too. Um, Stefan's treasure map. So, let's see, where is that at? Uh, look on the map here. So that's way down south by um, by this town here. Okay. Well, at some point, that's something we might want to do. Boy, it put it in a really crappy location, too. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get everything repaired here. And then uh, when I'm done with that, we might, uh, we might go see if we can, you know, knock out a quest tonight. 
too. So we've got a couple of choices here. We've got all of these tier fours. So I'll, I'll figure out uh, what I want to do. We'll either do one of the tier fours or maybe we'll try and do the treasure map. We'll see. But anyways, I'll bring you back after we get things repaired and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, we're back. I've got everything uh, put away. I went ahead and decided to uh, do the uh, the sniper rifle. So, or the marksman rifle, rather. Um, it does, the, the sight spread is, is a little bit longer to zero in, but uh, it's just because I couldn't put the, the tripod uh, mod on it. But I left that on the, uh, on the assault rifle there. Okay, so let's grab those two things and I'm gonna, well, we should actually check these. That's definitely better and better in all the ways that count. So we're gonna hang on to this. I don't, I probably won't ever use it, but you never know. You never know. Okay, so a couple things before we take off and go do, I think we're gonna go ahead and do a Stefan's tre treasure map. Um, we're gonna grab a, a bunch of jars too. I'm going to, yeah, we'll hang on to those because I want, I want some of those for Molotovs too. I haven't really been using Molotovs very much. I should probably use them a little more than I have been, but let's get the, this repaired just so everything is fully repaired. And uh, that gives us two repair kits left, so we should make a few more of those. We got a lot of duct tape that we made the other day. Let's see, if we make 23, that'll give us a full stack of repair kits. So grab some iron ingots out of here. And we'll put those in there. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fill those jars up as we go. Um, so I think what we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna go do the treasure map, but we have some points first. So let's look at those. I think it's time. I, I mean, I was planning on doing a few things like um, where's the fortitude at? Um, healing factor and pain tolerance, but and I should really, but I think what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's. I'll tell you what. Let's take the first point in both of these let's just do it um, with those two points but i'm going to start focusing now on perception we got to start getting perception up because i want to put points into dead eye i want to put points into demolitions expert points into uh salvage operations and lucky looter so we have four things in this tree that i want to put points into so that's kind of going to be our next focus and then you know, pretty soon, we're probably going to start thinking about a respec. I, I still feel like we need to get a little bit higher in level before it's going to be worth a while to do that. Uh, so currently, we are level 57. So I'm thinking, you know, mid-60s, maybe even 70 before we, we start seriously thinking about a respec um, there. So, okay, let's see. We took care of the points. That's cooking up. Um, yeah, let's head on out and do, uh, oh no, there was one other thing I wanted to do. I picked a whole bunch of goldenrod and chrysanthemum before the horde night started, um, cause I had a little bit of time to kill. Um, so let's see, we need, what do we need left on it? We almost have the garden completely planted. We're getting really close. So chrysanthemum, we need one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to pull that aloe up and we need one, two, three goldenrods. Okay, so let's make those seeds. Three of those and chrysanthemums. We need five of those. And uh, here, we'll switch those around. I'm just going to pick that up. I know it wasn't done growing, but I don't care. Okay, and then um, golden rods can go here. And chrysanthemums go here. Well, we're gonna. One of the things we're gonna do when we come back with all this water that we're gonna get is we're gonna make a bunch of mineral waters, uh, because you know we've got so much extra chrysanthemum and golden rod right there. So the only thing that's left now for the, to plant in the garden is we have uh, one more plot here that we need to put hops in, and we'll probably keep doing the mushroom thing all the way around because why not, right? Might as well. And then we'll have a big supply of mushrooms, too, that we need for things like vegetable stew and probably a couple of other things, too. So the garden is doing really well. Doing really well. Um, when uh, we do the next casual construction episode, I have a couple of 
turrets excuse me smg turrets that i made up here and one in here and one in here and we're going to run some uh, power down to the to the garage and i i set up um a generator and a battery bank here and uh get those going because you know i have had zikaroos come up through this way I'm thinking about maybe to pulling these wood rails up and putting actual bars in there too, like too high, and then putting a door here. Um, that way, if they still manage to get through, we can stand here and just wail on them while they're, you know, while they're, while they're trying to get at us. So, I don't know. We'll think about that. But uh, I think we're ready to go. See how we're we doing on food and water. I made a whole bunch of uh, corn on the cob too, uh, because we have so much corn. So. Corn on the cob, if you guys didn't watch my last episode, um, corn on the cob gives you one more point in food than corn bread, and it's one less step to make. So <laughs> it definitely makes sense to make corn on the cob as opposed to cornbread. Let's put this stuff up here. We'll put the extra aloe. No, that's an aloe seed, so I guess we'll just stick that up there. Right? Yeah, aloe vera seed. And I think we have everything else we need to get going here. Let's grab uh, something to drink, too. I have six mineral mineral waters at the moment, but we're going to make a ton of them. We maybe we'll even throw back two of those. Now we're going to start needing just normal water as well for making... Um, you know what? What the hell? Let's just fill all these up. I can still make 34 Molotovs with that if I want to. Um, in fact, we could do that right now. What do we need for that? We need cloth, gas, and oil. Cloth, gas, and oil. Okay. So, let's see. We want to make 16... 17. Just to split them up. Not that it matters, because they'll be done before we get back anyways, but... We must have been short one thing. Close enough. That left us one jar le left over. We'll just put that in there. Okay, I think we're ready to head on out. Let's put that other gasoline up there. We've got our auger and it's uh, full of gas. So we're doing fine. Got to eat a lot of these, but... They're cheap and easy, so it's not a big deal. All right, so we've got to we got some rough terrain to get over to get over to uh, Stefan's map. So we're gonna bail off, you know, come down our road, um, and then probably come to the end of this road, and then we'll go cross country to try and get uh, up there. So I will see you guys at uh, the map location. Okay, we're here. What a crappy spot, huh? Uh, all right, do we have luckies on? We do. Yeah, we have luckies on. Um, let's grab an eye candy, and hopefully I remember to take it. <laughs> and while we're here, let's grab, let's go ahead and fill these jars up, too. There we go. Okay. Let's um let's unlock it first. Okay, and we'll take an eye candy. And what do we have? 
Okay, it's reasonable stuff, except for blunderbuss ammo. Are you kidding me? Well, we got 4,000 coin and um, an orange uh, M60, which will fix up, put some mods on and sell for a decent amount of change. But there we go. I um, was kind of hoping we'd, we'd just get a whole shitload of cash. I've, I've you know, pulled over 20,000 coin. Well, have I? I think 18,000 or so is the most I've seen in these before. Uh, this will just scrap for paper. And uh, don't need that stuff. All right, guys. Well, that is it uh, for this episode. And so probably the next episode's going to be uh, another casual construction episode. Where we're going to continue working on, you know, getting those turrets in place, setting some electricity up, and then get uh, getting back uh, to work on the second floor. Uh, the other major construction project that I need to get started on, uh, if we're going to have uh, our new horde base ready by day 56, um, is... Uh, I need to do that, too, is what I'm trying to say. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.